हेलो रोमन वेलकम टू पार्ट हंड्रेड ऑफ लारावल नाइन सीरीज इन विच वी अटेंडिंग द मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वी विल कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन द शॉपिंग कार्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू ऐड द प्रोडक्ट इन द कार्ड इन द कार्ड्स टेबल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो द कार्ड आइटम्स इन द शॉपिंग कार्ड पेज ओके सो वी कैन सी दैट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी एबल टू ऐड वन प्रोडक्ट इन आवर कार्ड्स टेबल ओके सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन एबल टू एड वी कैन इवन एड मोर प्रोडक्ट्स टू अवर कार्स टेबल ओके हेयर यू कैन सी लाइक इफ यू विल एड एड टू कार हेयर यू कैन सी द मैसेज प्रोडक्ट हैज बीन एडेड इन कार ओके एंड हेयर वी कैन चेक एज वेल दैट नाउ द टू ऑफ द आइटम्स हैव बीन एडेड इन अवर कार एंड वी आर एडिंग द आइटम्स विद द सेशन आई डी बिकॉज द यूजर इज नॉट लॉग इन येट इफ द यूजर इज नॉट लॉग इन देन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर द सेशन आई डी ऑफ द यूजर okay so this thing we have already done now is the time to show these card items these card items in the shopping cart page okay so first of all uh, we are going to create one function to get the card items so that we can show at the shopping cart page of the user okay so we need to get these uh, card items if the user is logged in then we are going to get the card make the card items from the user id of the user otherwise if the user is not logged in then we are going to take the session id so this function we are going to make so we are going to make this function in the card model we are already having the card model okay so here uh, we can uh, make the function okay uh, so public we will make it static as we are going to use it in other uh, in our controller and we can use it anywhere by making it as static so get card items this is the function name that we are going to make okay so here if the user uh, is logged in like if uh, we are going to check with or check okay or check is the function uh, the predefined function okay auth is the class and check is the object of the auth class and we know we use Uh, this uh, from laravel 6 in laravel 6 laravel 7 laravel 8 laravel 9 okay we know about this function that if the user logged in then we can check with this one like the auth check like it means the if the user logged in then we are going to execute this condition else we are going to execute this condition means here we are going to ex execute uh, we if user logged in if user logged in okay and if user not logged in okay not logged in okay here see here we can pick uh, see uh, pick the uh, auth id auth user id auth id of the user okay here we are going to pick pick session id of the user i hope it will clear the things okay so here we are going to I uh, use get card items once again and here card model that is related with our table where we are going to compare with the user id okay user id because user is logged in so user is having some id we are going to use the auth user id okay we are going to take the id like this like i have explained you in the last video here we are going to take the get to array okay so this thing i am going to copy and will paste here and here card where here i am going to take it as session id because a user is not logged in so, uh, so we are going to use the session id so here we are going to pick the session and how we will pick we will pick it like this session id okay get to array and whatever the result that array we are going to return get card items okay so our function is ready to get the card items both from user id and from the session id okay so we are going to work on this case in this video as we have uh, you uh, not done auth so far user is not logged in so far we are going to work on login register and after the user logged in then this case will come okay now right now this case will happen this case will work okay so the next thing is we are going to modify our card function 
we are going to open the flex controller at the front and we'll modify the card function okay so here we are going to uh, call that get card item function that we have just made okay get card items so this is the function that we are going to call from the card model okay get card items get items okay so this is function that we are going to call here so that we will get the card items and we are going to check once that whether we are getting it or not okay we can simply check in dd that do and i this array is printing or not let's check i am going to open the card here its link is like this card and okay we need to attach this auth now now we are using the auth so we need to add it uh, where it is saying it is saying i think in card model so we are going to add it here use auth i think we need uh, also required to add this session uh, so we can see it is asking to add the session as well okay so we are going to use this session as well as well as auth okay both are required and now the result is coming now we can see it is coming here okay size is small quantity is one bracket is three okay our uh, that because see it is only showing one because this session id is the old one you can see the date as well it is very old it is the new one that we have just added now if we are going to add one more then it will show the two products here because both will come in the same session okay so let me try i'm going to add one more here and let's see i'm going to add one more here add to car and now i'm going to try it and you can see this time two products have come here okay so you can see the two products here and uh, and these come from the same session id you can see now we have added the one more product and that belongs to the same session id so it means that belongs to the same user okay so uh, like this uh, we can work with the session so now we can simply command this one is working fine and this get card items we are going to send to our the card page okay so now we are going to send this to our card page like this fine so one thing more we are going to make the relation between the card and the product okay we not only require the card item but we require the card that product details as well here you can see the what details is coming exactly here you can see uh, we are getting the product id but we require more information of the product because we want to show in the card page we want to show the product name we want to show the product code we want to show the product price we want to show the product image all that information we want to show so we need to make the relation between the card and the product okay so we are going to make the belongs to relation like the uh, like the uh, like the product that exists in the card belongs to some specific product okay so here we are going to create one relation uh, we can create the relation in the card model itself here or we can also create in the product models so here we are going to create like the public function product okay uh, so here uh, we will add return dollar this belongs to app models product. and we are going to compare with the product id here the purpose is uh, we want to fetch the complete details from the product id from this from the product id okay we want to fetch the complete details from the product id so we are defining this relation like uh, this particular product id belongs to that product okay so we are getting this one uh, so here we are going to use this uh, product uh, model uh, here in the get card items where it is here okay so we can 
attach this uh, uh, with both with product so that we can get the uh, product details as well not only id but we will also get the product details okay so now uh, it seems to be fine and one more thing uh, we will show the latest products added in the card or at the top uh, so we will also add here order by okay uh, that also we can add so that we can have the latest product at top id sorry descending this i am doing because once the user will add products they will shown at the top of the card not at the bottom okay so these things we have added now we can check once again here we can refresh now you can see the product details as well along with the product id you can see the the product id is 5 and the complete product array is here you can see the complete product information is now coming okay fine okay so see one more thing we can do here uh, we can add the sub query here uh, because if we uh, are not required to uh, we are not required to have so much information see you can see uh, the, the the information is too much we only require the specific information so we can have this sub query here uh, we can uh, modify the function once again uh, to get the selector uh, columns only okay so we are going to define the sub query uh, so uh, we are going to have the sub query here here we are going to start like uh, product then here the function will come uh, so you know this function function then inside this we will pass that product query it will look like this and here uh, we are going to end this one before this this one then dollar query and we are going to use this select here and we are going to uh, add the columns that we want to show like id we can pick from there ID section id is not required i think category id product code product color okay and uh, we can also have the truck price is not required that we will call there only okay and other than this uh, product image as well where is the product image here it is okay so these are the column that we want in both the cases here also we want this one so here we can simply attach uh, with uh, like this okay we can just copy and paste it like this okay so now we are going to check here whether it is working fine or some issue has come okay some of the time it happens in such queries we are going to see syntax error on specter uh, okay so we are going to check what is the issue exactly Yeah, now it is fine okay semicolon is missing okay now you can see only the limited product details are coming okay so we get the specific details it will fasten up the query okay it, it will make our query fast so now we will move further and uh, now we are going to add the for each loop in the card blade file uh, okay so now we have the item details uh, that we can uh, now update the card blade file that we have created earlier 
cardblade.php okay so uh, we are going to create the for each loop in the card blade okay we are already sending this one you can see we are already sending the details uh, in the card blade file here okay returning there uh, this array uh, so what we are going to do we are going to uh, add it in in one more page here we are going to show the for each loop from here we can pick the data and can show up here okay so we are quickly going to add the for each loop here and one more thing product price quantity subtotal and here you can see the in place of subtotal these thing is coming uh, these we are going to move here and so that we can show the subtotal here okay so one thing we can add here we will add something like actions or something okay action and and uh, here this one uh, we are going to have uh, upper quantity here we can add now we can check once uh, okay now it seems to be fine but uh, see here uh, these separate rows we are going to remove we just require one here we are going to add the for each loop here okay for each loop here the data that is coming this one get card items that we are going to use here get card items as dollar item and this one we are going to end here and for each fine the rest of trs we are going to remove that are not required now okay so now we can see here uh now uh, we are going to show the image uh, here okay image uh, is coming from front image is product mm, uh, front image is then here we are going to use the product images product underscore images and uh, after that small we will give the correct path here okay after that uh, we are going to add here we will remove this one dollar item is coming here dollar item then product image uh, dollar item we are going to see once uh, it is coming in inside the product image is coming inside the product so we are going to uh, pick here product then uh, then the product image okay like this so here in the same way we are going to copy this one that we are going to use again and again here we are going to show the product name okay for prices we are going to call the another function for prices i am going to show you and uh, let's see once how it looks like see here both the products are coming we have added both the products earlier into our card one green t-shirt and one red t-shirt both are coming here uh, but the prices we are going to show subtotal we are going to show correctly here product name is coming fine okay so uh, not only product name we are going to show the uh, more information here uh, okay uh, so uh, we can show the side here as well uh, so we can do one thing here we simply add here break and here we can show the we can do it like this here we can show see side side i think it is coming outside okay this one so side this one is not required and, but we can do it like this side and other than this color also required color we are also getting so color uh, color is coming inside that means product color okay inside product then product color so sorry color so we can check once okay data is coming but uh, there is little bit uh, we can see uh, that does not look that much good mm, so we can remove the color if we remove the color then i think it will be fine yeah now we know it is fine i think break also we can move from here no now it is not 
okay we are going to show it like this okay green t-shirt and size okay so uh, like uh, we can increase the uh, size image to show the more information image uh, okay image side we are going to increase to show the more information here or we can also show uh, the color in brackets here okay so there are many options that you can do or we can show the side in brackets okay like this one uh, we can do it like this also like color we can show here so there are many options uh, you can check it out that how you can add the information here okay so we can do like this also even we can show the small in brackets okay that also will look fine uh, but also the product code is there so make sure the practice code is also there product code is also required uh, so uh, for the product code uh, we can show that in bracket as well okay and uh, we can show the color as well as the size in one row as well that thing also we can do okay so the design kind of things that you can correct from your end here i can do one thing i will make the bracket here and will add this one here uh, so that i can add the product code okay so now this one is also looking fine okay see product name code and the size and color all the information all the required information is now coming okay and now for quantity as well uh, quantity also uh, is coming you can see uh, here from the user quantity outside uh, the product array okay and for that we are going to show uh, like in this way this one uh, okay we are going to use this uh, here wherever we are passing the value here we are going to show the quantity okay and now the price has come so for price we will call another function we have already one function is there and that is the get discount attribute price function if you remember we have created one function in the product model that we are going to use now get get this discount attribute price this function we are going to get uh, we are going to call the prices okay so that uh, function we are going to use here uh, so uh, because we have already used this one if you remember in listing blade file i'm going to show you in the listing blade file also we have used something like this okay i think ajax listing ajax products listing okay so here you can see that we are using something like this here okay here we are getting the get discount price okay but here uh, we are going to get the get uh, another function okay so let's call that function get discount attribute price we uh, uh, see in the product model See both the things we are having we require two things here you can see product ID as well as this site okay so both we are having in our item we can see here okay product ID as well as the uh, site product ID as well as site Okay, so now we are going to check okay so from this get discount price we are going to first of all uh, we'll see that what information is coming what prices are coming here exactly so that we can use them so let's see uh, what uh, the price is, is coming exactly okay we need to attach the model okay that product model we need to attach like we have attached in the just press listing here at the top now we will check once again now see product price final price discount all three things are coming here okay 
so now we can mod modify <coughs> accordingly here it is so here what we can do uh, wherever we are passing this one like in card price so uh, we can do one thing here uh, we can uh, simply copy this one and we'll paste there uh, this get discount price is greater than zero here we are going to make some changes though uh, but we are going to replace it this card price we are going to replace it with that one and here we will just correct the layout okay and here see here what we are going to do here uh, we are calling uh, this price this discount we require okay so here discount but discount will not work it's inside this array so we are going to use it like this okay so if discount is greater than zero uh, then we are going to have here the uh, here final price and here product price like this okay so here we are going to copy this one see this is the item new price it means the final price will come here we are getting the final price you can see final price okay and here the product price will come item old price okay so uh, product price we are just required to change this one and here the else only one price is required here and we are going to uh, show here the final price only okay like this so let's see once that how it looks i'm going to command this one now this debugging is not required now we can see here and you can see rupees 800 and rupees 900 see no discount is there so that's why it is uh, that final price is coming but if in case we are going to add the discount for the product suppose uh, from the admin i will put the discount for the green t-shirt then see it will show the discounter price here as well let's see i'm going to put some discount for the green t-shirt uh, products okay so here we have, to have green t-shirt and i am going to put some discount like i can put 10 percent discount here for the green t-shirt submit and now we can see uh, the discounter price must come here for the green t-shirt you can see here the discounter price is coming but its uh, layout is not that exact layout that we want we want this closer to this one okay uh, so let's see where it is where we have added this one okay so this one is our uh, we can check here what we have done so good in css kind of thing very poor in css margin left see is coming closer uh, but uh, make sure that nothing or some other thing must not get affected okay now you can see but you can see the quantity is also coming very close to it okay uh, so we can show it like this so there is uh, it is fine okay so we have cut the uh, rupees 800 and we are showing rupees 720 here as price and suppose if we increase the quantity of this one okay or we add uh, some other product here uh, like uh, okay, now it closed get closed i'm going to add some other product with the two quantity this time
with the proof property add to cart uh, okay one more thing we are going to do here here product has been added in cart we want to here view card link we want to add here the view card link because otherwise uh, the user can't go uh, to the card so here we require the view card link here also we will give the link of the view card uh, uh, sorry not here here also okay we are going to give the view card price will price will also come but right now we can straight away give it here as well okay uh, so we are going to modify this and product has been added in card and here uh, what we are going to do here uh, we are going to add the link here make sure that uh, there is no syntax error uh, we are adding the link so we need to make sure the syntax is correct uh, i think here uh, now it seems to be fine i think okay so let's refresh it okay, we are going to we can empty uh, the card first of all so that we can add the new items now okay so let's refresh once again and now we are going to add here small add to cart and okay so here syntax is coming because uh, syntax is coming because uh, there we need to do in uh, php instead of uh, these errors we need to show in php that's why it is happening like this okay So we are going to do it like this now now it must be fine okay so now we will try once again uh, we are going to add now some other product okay let's add some other product now this one let's add it size medium add to card and here you can see product has been added in card view card link is coming uh, we are going to do one more thing here we are going to add here uh, some uh, underline uh, we are going to give here underline uh, style style we are going to add style okay in style text decoration underline do all this uh, uh, CSS in your CSS file not here okay so otherwise your uh, your designer can do this uh, this kind of task in a perfect way okay add to card now now you can see the view card is underlined product has been added in card we can click on view card and here we can see the complete card is coming what is coming here remove this one uh, okay what is coming here we can unwanted code see repeated so this one we can completely work okay so now you can see uh, the information is coming here and here uh, see quantity uh, we are going to add the product with the two quantity we have not added i think or we have not added product with the two quantity so uh, we can add some other product with the two quantity so that we can check it as well small with two quantity add to card okay view card and now see the product is added with the two quantity where it is here it is okay 720 so here we are going to show the subtotal as well correct subtotal okay so we are going to 
replace dollar hundred and uh, we are going to show here the subtotal that is uh, we are going to do like the we are going to uh, take the final price into quantity okay final price into quantity so this one we are going to pick this one and we are going to replace this one and here inside this one itself we are going to add here and dollar item and here we are going to uh, here give the quantity quantity okay now we are going to check once again and here you can see the correct prices are coming okay you can see the rupee 720 into 2 what it is it is 1440 it is fine 1200 1200 price 1200 1200 price see discount price 1800 1800 price so it is working fine you can see the prices are coming fine okay so in next video uh, we are going to show here the correct totals as well and after that we are going to work on the update quantity feature as well that we are going to do via ajax okay so this part we are going to refresh only okay so we will make the separate page for this one that we are going to call with the ajax okay that thing we are going to do in the upcoming videos in one two videos we are going to finish this part and then we are going to start working on the customer login register page okay so stay tuned for that so now the 100 videos are complete and if any of my friend wants the code then that person can simply uh, join my channel simply open my channel here youtube.com stack developers and please click on this join button and join as a premium member okay to get the code okay you once you logged in with your google account you can able to join you can click on this join button and join as a premium member there is small fees that you are going to pay and i am going to give you the complete code of the sorry not complete but uh, these hundred videos code of laravel multi vendor e-commerce website see don't worry if you are go want to submit your college project then i'm going to give you once you will join as a premium member you will get many features uh, from our another website here you can see you will get the login details of this website and from here you can get the get multiple uh, multi vendor e-commerce website code up till part 100 you will get advanced e-commerce website code this is the complete website code in laravel 6 7 8 even it is work fine in laravel 9 as well see we have the website for you as well you can check it out okay and after that the basic e-commerce website code this one you will also get okay you will also get the dating website code as well and many other things okay you are going to get once you will join as a premium member so please join as a premium member so that you can uh, able to get the complete code along with this code so thank you everyone uh, for uh, watching my series that's all for now have a nice time goodbye